y'all thank you so much for watching Miss Angel League TV where we talk about everything and when I mean everything I mean like girl we are on episode 11 like we are literally in like the teens well 13 I think the teens are 13 but y'all know what I mean like <laughs> we are literally like in the double digits and um we got a, a couple more episodes left so um bear with us <laughs> but we are coming we're nearing close to the end of this series like the one thing i can tell y'all is we are definitely halfway done i guess we can consider this season two we're definitely coming to the end <laughs> but before i get into the story time y'all already know what to do if you are new hey my name is angelique and i am here to tell y'all everything and we talk about everything and i mean everything like i said in the beginning so i would love for you to hit that subscribe button down below you will not not be disappointed you will love it here i promise and also go ahead and hit that thumbs up button that way your girl could be known in these youtube streets last but not least go ahead and hit that notification bell that way you could be notified the next time your girl posts a video my kids in the back and it's really like almost a bedtime so i need to make this quick so if this video a little bit shorter than normal just know it's because my kids gotta go to bed and they gonna probably be loud and y'all might hear them a little bit so if y'all do i'm sorry in advance and besides the last video was 47 minutes so like if I do a little short video don't worry about it I still got a couple of more longer videos in me to do so don't worry if this video is short okay y'all so the last story time we left off um, I was explaining to y'all how my husband had excessive thirst um, he was going to the bathroom a lot like he was peeing a lot obviously um, he was super super tired like we didn't know what was going on with him at all so last story time i ended up giving him a blood sugar a glucose test the one that you can get from the the, the store the drug store like walgreens um long story short girl that shit said go to the motherfucking hospital it would not even give me a reading whatever that reading was it was definitely above 600 and that scared the fuck out of me because i wasn't really educated about like diabetes and how that shit work and stuff like that so i just was scared as fuck and i knew my husband was late it was looking like he was lifeless damn near could barely even walk could barely even talk because he just felt really really just fatigued like he was just words cannot explain it so girl i told i told my boss that i gotta go um to the hospital and shit like that um we get in the car mind y'all i'm pregnant at this point i'm like seven months pregnant y'all my husband he got a bottle of water with him because he's still thirsty but at the same time he he feel like he about to fall out and oh and i also haven't forgot to mention he had lost his appetite too like he wasn't really eating as much as he was before so girl i'm driving and my husband, he on the phone with his sister and, you know, talking to her and explaining her, explaining to her all of his symptoms. And I'm driving. I started goddamn crying. I started panicking because I'm just like, I don't know what's going on. Mind y'all, my husband is damn near dead at this point, y'all. And he, you know, still trying to reassure me like, babe, I'm, I'm be all right. Calm down. Calm down. You don't want to get yourself all worked up. You know you're pregnant and this and that. And I'm just like, I'm trying to be calm, I'm trying to be calm, but I just don't know. I'm just really scared. I'm worried about you. <laughs> like, I've never seen my husband sick. Well, whenever I say sick, I mean like sick, sick, like deathbed type sick. The sickest I've ever seen my husband was whenever he had COVID. Honestly, that was the sickest I've ever seen him. But like, this was something totally different. We pull up to the damn hospital, the closest hospital to us, which is in Tomball, Texas. Y'all know I'll put the actual hospital in the background, y'all. So we get there and sign him in and... I explained to them what's going on probably like not even five minutes they later they call him in the back to do just vitals bitch just the damn vitals and I'm just like oh my god I'm like I don't give a fuck about them damn vitals y'all can check them damn vitals on that hospital bed I don't give a fuck about this shit like I want my husband on a stretcher we need help okay he about to fall out he could barely even walk inside the damn hospital because he just felt that weak the kids at school at this time by the way y'all but this was actually on a day that Miss Lord I keep saying Miss Nasty and shout out to whoever called her hurricane katrina shout out to you because you had me weak for a whole weekend whenever i read that comment <laughs> yeah, katrina she had been off or whatever that night so I had text her and i'll put the screenshot i didn't text her until we actually got to the hospital and stuff and settled but i i'll put the screenshot of what i text her and i'm just like you know hey such stuff going on and we at the hospital boom so i wasn't too worried about like the kids being there by themselves because i knew whenever they got home from the bus she was gonna be there whenever the doctors pulled him to the back they did similar they did kind of like the same thing check his blood sugar on the same little small monitor it wasn't like no actual blood work type shit at that well no i'm lying they did blood work at the same time 
as they did the glucose monitor thing. Um, I guess they wanted to just get a reading right away and then also do the blood work to really truly see what it is. Girl, why they monitor couldn't even pull up his blood sugar? They monitor don't even know shit either, bitch. I'm just like, oh my God, Jesus take the wheel because i can't i can't take this i'm pregnant i have too much shit going on like i can't do this <laughs> uh but of course obviously i have to be strong as i could for my husband they finally called us to the back to the triage still within a real room obviously oh i forgot to tell you i had baby g at the time as well so baby g my um how old he was at that time he he was he was two getting ready to be three the following month so I had him with us, child. If y'all ever brought a child or a toddler to a hospital, y'all already know that shit really just, it be low key hard because you be trying to make sure that they're entertained and that they're not too bored and shit like that. So once we get back in the room, the doctor, actual doctor ended up coming and you already know they asked you what's going on, what brought you in there. Bitch, I don't give a fuck about none of that. I need to know where these results is because my husband, he is like on his last leg right now. The nurse, you know, they ended up eventually coming and telling us what his results were. Why the hell was this man blood sugar levels at 900 and it was the high 900 i ain't much gonna gonna give y'all uh, an exact but it was 960 something it was definitely over 950 but it wasn't quite to a thousand all i know was it was close to a thousand like it was closest it was it was kissing a thousand that's how how close it was to a thousand i didn't even know it was even possible for somebody blood sugar levels to even be that high like i had no idea that was even possible girl so they asked my husband questions like have you ever had diabetes is running your family this and that my husband you know it does run in his family but prior to this like he's never been diagnosed with anything like he just seemed perfectly healthy like everything was perfectly fine but he did notice as he was explaining to the doctors like over the past couple of months like he had been drinking like crazy and all of this and it was you know he just had been sleepy just all of those symptoms that i was telling y'all earlier the doctors were surprised that he was even literally able to walk inside of the hospital on his own two feet because he was in dka <laughs> if y'all don't know what dka is i'll post the definition but yeah he was diagnosed like that's what they diagnosed him with like dka and i don't know if they declared it early that no no damn early diabetes bitch how the fuck that's gonna be early diabetes bitch that is diabetes but anyway <laughs> all I know is it was DKA and they was giving him all type of shit to help lower his sugar and they were just like I'm just gonna let you know you ain't gonna be going home tonight nine times out of ten we can't let you leave with no blood sugar levels damn near in the thousands bitch like that's just not gonna happen that's, that's not realistic and so I'm finally starting to calm down at this point they started giving him insulin they started doing all the stuff that they had to do they were just um, explaining to him the different types of insulin that were giving him which were like the fast acting and they had the long act girl they had all type of shit i don't know but it was a lot my husband he finally started to feel a little better he couldn't eat or anything of course he was just super thirsty eventually they allowed him to start drinking water i believe but when i mean we got to that hospital at like 9 10 something like that i didn't leave until like 8 something that night backing up and getting a little bit too ahead of myself i text Katrina because I'm like fuck this is my day to cook remember a couple story times ago I told y'all we used to take turns cooking I would cook on a Monday she would cook Tuesday I cook Wednesday she cooked Thursday like that's how we used to do and so I'm like fuck the kids at the house this is my day to cook the morning of I had already took some chicken out to like cook and stuff um I had took it out to thaw out and so I had texted her and y'all see the screenshot I think I texted her something like she could cook the chicken or whatever I wasn't sure how long we were gonna be gone this and that you know, I was just, I was worried because I know that the kids needed to eat. It's not their fault that I'm in the hospital. So I was like, let me just text her and tell her that I need this favor. And so she, you know, texted back and she said what she said. And I was really, really appreciative of that because I'm just like, like, I really, really needed that. Towards the end of the night, they were like, so we're going to admit him to ICU. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Let's ICU. Let's go. Girl, tell me why they told me that I couldn't even come. He was only able to accept visitors during visitor hours. And I was just like, I know you fucking lying. So that really irritated me because I have never slept a night without my husband unless he was at work. You know, I can't help whenever he be at work overnight and stuff like that. But, well, I'm lying. That was the second time that I had spent the night alone because years and years ago, back in 2017, I had a funeral to go to and we had spent a night away from each other. But outside of that, that was literally my first night just being without my husband and knowing that he was somewhere that I couldn't be. And 
that fucked me up. That really fucked me up. And the fact that I was pregnant, that didn't even make it no better. I was hormonal. I was crying. I was, I was just irritated. I, I didn't know what to do. So I called my boss and I told my boss, I'm just like, look, I don't know when I'm going to be able to come back to work. But right now, I got a lot of shit going on. My husband damn near kicked the damn bucket on my ass. I got too much going on. Like, I just, I don't know. So they ended up allowing me to be off for whatever amount of time that I needed to be off. Thank God. I went home that night. It was so sad, like so, so sad. And then I'm listening to my, my music on the way and the doggone music ain't no better, bitch. What's that song called? Um, I See You by Coco Jones. That song, that was the very first time that I heard that song, even though she had been, came out with that song prior to, but that was the first time that I actually sat down to listen to it. And bitch, I just started goddamn crying, bitch. <laughs> that night I had to do that long ass drive back to Magnolia by myself without my husband was the probably the longest drive ever at least it felt like it was and bitch cried the entire time could barely even see shit bitch i didn't told y'all magnolia barely had any street lights so bitch i'm crying can barely see put my life at risk <laughs> because i'm emotional um but you know i finally got home I was able to hurry up and get the kids settled for bed because it was late at this point. But I was able to get the kids settled for bed at least. I was glad that they already ate so I didn't have to worry about that. Um, got everybody in the bed. I was tired as fuck. I don't even think I ate that night because there's just so much going on. I got home and called my husband and girl. I had to bring it back to, to the old days. We was on the phone the whole time. Sleep on the phone. Every couple of hours I hear his nurses waking him up to check his vitals. Bitch, they waking my ass up. <laughs> right along with his ass and shit. I couldn't wait to get up that next morning to go see my motherfucking man because bitch, the hell? To me, I can't see him and he and I see you, bitch. What the fuck? You got the whole game fucked up. <laughs> so, that next morning, got the kids on the bus and stuff. Went straight to the hospital that next morning. And he was, this was my first time actually being in the ICU with him. Because I couldn't go in there the night before because visiting hours were already over. So, I go up there. And actually, the same time I got up there was the same day that his dad had got up there too. So, me and his dad had got up there um, about the same time. And um stuff like that and so the icu nurse had came in and had spoke with us and pretty much were just telling us what how he was really gonna live the rest of his life unless he reversed this shit or something they were like explaining to him how to use the insulin and stuff because his glucose levels that finally went down it didn't go completely down like to like normal normal but it went from nine to like two something high 100 something right so that was clearly a huge difference <laughs> clearly a huge difference and so they were like well we don't think you're gonna be able to go home tonight but maybe tomorrow so i'm just like fuck but they did say they were like we're gonna move you out of the icu into a regular room which meant i was able to spend a night in the hospital with him if i wanted to so i was really really happy about that really really happy later on that day i hadn't talked to katrina like katrina hadn't texted me and said hey how's everything going but she knew that i was gone she knew what we had going on she knew i wasn't home because he was still in the hospital she knew that after you know i had visited him and stuff like that it was time for me to go home but i had texted my daughter and i was like did y'all eat and she was like no and i'm just like what you mean what you mean y'all didn't eat? I'm just thinking to myself, like, why the fuck wouldn't Katrina take initiative and be like, oh shit, I see that Angelique and Gabe, they're still not here, so apparently they're still in the hospital. I hadn't heard from her or anything like that. Why wouldn't you say, oh, hey, y'all go in the kitchen, y'all make this, or, or let me whoop this up real quick? Like, why wouldn't you do that? I asked my daughter, I'm like, so where's Katrina? Where's she at? She talking about something, she in a room sleep. These kids gotta eat, bitch. Like, the fuck? You thought that because you cooked the day before that you didn't have to do anything the next day just because? Common sense would have told you, like, let me text Adoria. Let me see if everything okay. Or even if you didn't want to text me to check up on me. Common sense would have told you the adults aren't here. Like, you, you see, you know my car ain't in a garage. I don't even understand why that was like even a thing like an, an adult like a normal thinking minded adult would be like even if i did come home from the hospital that day bitch even so i still would have been like i know she would at the hospital all day let me cook dinner let me take a while even though i know i cooked dinner the day before like I, they've been having a lot of stuff going on you know what i'm saying but she didn't do that the bitch was upstairs sleep upstairs fucking sleep so since my husband was being moved to a regular room i needed to go get some clothes and stuff and my boys like missed their dad and stuff so i was like let me just 
I guess we gonna, gonna all figure out how to sleep in this hospital room together. Like, bitch, we was gonna figure it out. You know, it, it was what it was. I mean, I was just gonna let my youngest son stay home from school and we'll just go spend the night at the hotel with daddy. But before I do that, I gotta go to the motherfucking grocery store to get something to eat for these kids because not only have my kids have not eaten, her kids ain't eat either. So don't think you just my kids, bitch. She ain't give a fuck about her kids eating either, bitch. <laughs> she ain't give a good goddamn. What are you here for? Like, I understand that, you know, you work and stuff like that, but fuck that job. You know what I'm saying? Fuck your sleep. Priorities are priorities and some shit sh should come first regardless of how you feel. I was annoyed at the fact that I had to leave the hospital where my husband was to go to the store to pick up something to eat for now and my kids or somebody else's kids. Now, I would've been wrong as hell if I would've just bought my kids something to eat. That would've been fucked up, right? I'm not that type of person. I don't do shit like that. So, I went to the store and I had got two frozen pizzas and some wings or something, something real quick. But I just had to do something because I knew they had to eat and it was literally almost bedtime. It was almost time for their ass to be in the bed and they ain't even ate dinner. And I'm worried, not only am I worried about my husband, I'm worried about what my kids gonna eat at the house with another grown ass adult there like that don't even make sense at all that that pissed me the fuck off like i wanted to cuss her ass the fuck out i told my husband like look i can't do this like this is just getting ridiculous at this point what is she here for she's doing me no good she's doing you no good i get to the house i you know i tell her to put the food in the oven thank god my kids are of at least my older she was of age enough to you know watch the piece and shit like that so I'm packing our bags so that we could go to the hospital and spend the night and shit, gathering my kids together. Again, a bitch seven months pregnant, bitch. <laughs> I'm pregnant as hell and I'm doing all of this. Um, so we, we pack our things and we head back out once again to the hotel, or to the hotel, the fuck. <laughs> we head back out to the hospital so that we could be with my husband. The room was small as fuck and the, 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 y'all already know how the hospital couches be tiny and narrow as hell. I was like, ooh, I don't know how we gonna do it cause I'm pregnant. We just gonna figure it out. Child, thank God, thank God. Probably not even 20 minutes into the visit, one of the nurses came in there and was like, well, the doctor said you could go home. So, and we thought that he wasn't gonna be able to go home until that next night. Cause that's what they initially said. But he came in there and was like, you ready to go home? Cause the doctor said you good to go home. You know, obviously you gotta go, you know, follow up and get your medicine and all that type of shit or your insulin rather. Um, but girl, girl, was so I'm happy. I'm like, oh Lord, that was just a, a sign from the Lord because he knew that my pregnant behind was not gonna survive that night in that hospital uh, bed or that hospital couch rather bitch y'all i really wanted to hop in the bed with my husband but that was not my big pregnant girl no it was gonna work out um but yeah we we got to go home that night y'all and uh it felt so good to go home like i really I really thought I was gonna be a single mom, a widow. Like, I, I really just knew that. And I think that was another reason that I was so emotional because it's just like, I cannot believe I am in a situation to where I can possibly lose the love of my life and then be by myself and not have a partner. Like, it just don't seem right, it don't feel right. And with that shit, thank God for the VA because baby, insulin is expensive as fuck. Okay, I, I, and I've always heard people say like, oh, it's so expensive, it's so expensive. I always heard people say that, but I never really understood that until then. Cause the girl, it, it, it was high, it was high as hell. Shout out to his benefits because who child insurance probably ain't gonna cover all of that <laughs> these days. Child, he get home, we recovering and stuff like that. I eventually go back to work. A couple weeks later, all of a sudden, we noticed that Steven had been playing his video game. Like, Steven always on that game, bitch. Steven always on that TV. He, talking about my TV. Remember that TV I told y'all about a couple of the story time before this? Yeah. So, you know, we noticed that he wasn't on the TV and stuff, child. On my TV, the TV that I did not give my husband permission to give away. But we didn't think anything of it until one of these days, my daughter told me that he was bribing her or asked her could he borrow her tv like he literally texted her and was like can i use your tv and my daughter was like no you're gonna use my tv so y'all can have my tv broke like y'all always breaking y'all stuff you know her smart ass 
But I'm just, I asked my daughter, I'm like, why he asked me for your TV? What about my TV? What, what's wrong with the TV that he got of mine? Right? Why in the hell? I really want to say the F word, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to work on my cuss words, especially them F bombs, because I be F bombing the fuck out of y'all. I just did it. <laughs> just because I just said it, I'm just going to go ahead and say what I want to say. Why the fuck is my TV broke? That TV that I told my husband that he had no business. That he had no business. No business. Allowing another child that ain't mine to borrow it. Why is my TV, my TV, 55 inch, why is 55 inch smart TV at that? Why is my TV broke, bitch? It's broke. It's broke. But we're just going to discuss that in the next story time because... <laughs> I told y'all I got plans. I told y'all I'm trying to get these kids out of bed. Um, this story time probably was maybe, I must say, probably about 20 minutes. <laughs> um, I'll give it 22. Hope I'm, I'm going to see if I'm right when I'm editing the story time. I know it was a little short, but I, I didn't want to like add the, my husband issues with the other issues. I kind of wanted to separate that because like that was... My bad y'all, my camera died for the second time and I did not feel like trying to re-record or wait till later to re-record the ending and stuff like that. So on that note, <laughs> y'all gonna get a voice note. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. That way you won't miss my next video. Also, I want y'all to go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and hit your notification bell. That way you can be notified when the next time your girl posts a video. On that note, I'm gonna see y'all next week, same time, next Friday. I love y'all. Peace.